everyone. Welcome. This is Betty with Oak by Bettina. I am so happy that you're here with me today. Thank you for joining me. As you can see, I received my package of samples from eye candy. It has such beautiful colors in it. It's very hard to decide what to pick. But I have already picked these four colors out of the box. And they are Imperial Jade, Zaffri, Charisse, and Periwinkle Purple. And I'm going to mix them and continue on with my coaster puzzles, which I am just having a ball making. They're so much fun. And uh, it's a very simple bloom. I'm also going to add my cell activators, which are going to be Persian Blue and Amsterdam Gold Yellow. These are uh, the ones that I've, that I've been using the most lately. I like the results that it's giving me. I'm also adding Boogie, which is becoming one of my favorite TLPs at the time. Liquitech Basics Phthalo Green, Quinacodome uh, Magenta by Liquitex. Amsterdam turquoise green and I use this because it's opaque and I usually put this one on the bottom it gives me it gives me a very pretty result and then I have Amsterdam pearl violet which I'm going to add to this combination so guys I'm going to get my um, tiles ready put them on my spinner and I will be right back with you well, I decided since I'm going to mix these anyway, I might as well just record it. And I'm not sure if I've ever uh, showed you how I mix my um, pigments. I know there's a lot of different ways. And uh, I just try for my own sake to keep it simple. I know there's um, recipes that have certain ounces and um, others that just uh, do not measure. I um, do keep into consideration that it depends where you live, the conditions of the area where you paint, the weather, the humidity, how long your paints have been sitting, what kind of paints they are, if they're tube, liquid, fluid, pigments, everything has to be taken into consideration. So to keep it easy and fun for me, I uh, just do it my way. And this is my way. Um, I have two bottles. This one is filled two parts satin enamel, bare deep base, and one part minwax polycrylic. This is Jasonia, and this is what I use when I am doing the uh, mixing my pigments. I put a little bit of this down, add my pigments in, make it a liquid form and then I add this in little by little until I get the consistency that I believe is correct. That's it. I try to keep it simple. It might not be the right way, but it's easy for me and um, it works for me. So don't be afraid to uh, experiment and try what you feel comfortable with something that works for you and that you have fun doing it and and if it becomes stressful then um, there's no fun and to me painting and this time that I have with my art and my journey is is just having lots of fun so here we go I'm going to put a little bit of this down in each of these cups. And like I said, guys, this is not, I could be wrong. Um, 
Maybe this is not the correct way, but it is for me, and it works. I want to try this uh, Periwinkle Purple first. And I am, this is the first time I open these. I do keep them away from me as much as possible. See, I already have that a little bit on me. I usually put a full spoon to start and keeping it away from my face I mix it these uh, fluid art spoons mixing spoons are amazing I love them. I used to use some other ones, which were good at the time, but I gave them up because the form that they have, um, this just make, makes the mixing so much easier and allows you to really clean up the cup on the bottom and get all the sides and mix your pigments well. So that's why I like these. I wish they made them a little bit longer like these, but maybe they will in the future, or maybe they do have them and I don't know about them, but this is pretty well mixed now into a liquid form. And now what I do is I add my bloom pouring medium. I usually add twice the amount of whatever is in the cup to start, to start. And like I said, it depends on what you're using, what kind of paints, if it's a liquid, if it's a tube paint, if it's pigment, it all depends, but with time, you kind of know, you kind of learn uh, with experience, I guess, um, which ones you can put a little bit more to start and a little bit less. This to me is, is perfect right now. I hope you can see this. So that one's done. And everybody has their own way. They, some people put a label on it. Um, I just write in what it is. I right, candy. Very winkle. Purple. And down here, I just put a P so I can remind myself it is a pigment just for me because I forget. I am not um, too careful with the spoon that I use to dip these in. Um, the more the merrier, I guess, colorful. So this is fine. I take a spoonful. Oh, this is not coming up. There we go. Put it in.
tilt it away from you guys it's not good for your lungs and basically this is what I do for my pigments and really I do the same thing for my tube paints and my heavy body except I don't use the um, Jasonia to uh, make them liquid form because they are already in one way or the other in a liquid form so I go straight into the um, pouring medium and I add until I get to the consistency first um, you want to find the color that you like and this for me right now is a beautiful color I don't need to add any more pigment to it and then when you add the pouring medium you look for the consistency and those are uh, the only two things that I do really um, as far as mixing my pigments and any other colors for my blooms like I said I, I try to keep it simple for me and this looks pretty mixed up so now I am going to again add twice the amount that is in there and sometimes um, when you get to this point and you mix it and uh, you you see that it it's still a little bit too thick you add a little bit more Chisonia and you thin it out sometimes when you get to this point you can see that your color has faded a little bit so at that point I take another little container and add a little bit more pigment liquefy it and add it in I try not to add my pigments directly to this this mixture because I find they become a little glumpier or um, and then harder to stir together again I like the color I like the consistency They both seem to have the same consistency although I can tell you that as soon as this sits for 15 minutes it will thicken up just a little bit and that's my opinion um, maybe it's uh, the temperature in the room where I'm painting uh, the humidity where I live but that is my experience with these paints. Now I will do the same thing with these two colors and I will set up and be right back with you. 